So I'm joined uh, by Fenton from DT Baits, and we've been looking at the end blend, and these are the wafters. So we've got the, uh, the matching and then the, the white. We just spoke earlier, and there's a bit of a reason behind that, and it's just, is it more tradition? Yeah, that's right. Um, again, a lot of anglers out there like to match the hatches or match the bottom baits, yep. and you know we will sell a lot more of the matching. But then different lakes react to different colours, yep. um, and we found over the years that white is also very popular. Yep. Um, and we, we do sell a lot of white pop-ups. Yeah, hence white why pink, they're in the imagine. range. Yes, absolutely yeah. brilliant. So with uh, with Wafters, because there's wafters and pop-ups, and not everybody would necessarily know the difference. Obviously, it's the distance it sits off the uh, off the bed most That's of the right. time. Um, when when would you use a wafter over a pop-up? If you want, if you want it to be more natural, you know, yeah. uh, with a pop-up sitting up, it's predominant. It's obvious it's sitting up. Sometimes a fish can get very spooky because yeah. it's not natural. It's out of place. Um, but there's other times where you want it as natural and as close to the lake bed as possible. Yeah. But the the thing with the wafter is because it is lighter than a normal boilie, it will just waft around on the on the lake bed, and because it is lighter, as a fish comes in and starts hoovering up free offerings, it will naturally pull that Easy one up it. into its mouth. Yeah. Yeah, makes them perfect. I think it, it looks like that free offering as well, which is what I always like about wafters. That's right. Um, so if you're fishing somewhere where the fish are either oh, pressurised or they're yeah, a bit spooky, like yeah. you say, something like that can actually help. If you're going somewhere where you know you can get runs and it's all about how attractive it is, that's maybe where the pop-up would come in. That's right. Floor. And you, you do have to experiment from yeah. water to water. And again, it depends what substrate's on the lake bed. Yep. Um, you wouldn't necessarily be using a wafter if you've got a heavy weed. No. Um, no you'd it's want it's it the, the pop up to pop up above the weed. Um, but yeah, all depends on the conditions. Yep, brilliant. So we go, the end blend wafters available today. Mm -hmm.